Brought to you by Fibre Fresh. Hi, I'm Jody Hartstone, Grand Prix dressage rider and proponent of academic horse training. In this episode, we're going to talk about the flight response in horses. As I mentioned previously, horses are hardwired for flight. A large part of their brain is set up to remember and run away from dangerous situations. Signs of flight in horses include jig jogging, head high behaviour, tension, spooking, shying, bucking and rushing at fences. One of the ways that uh, people have been training horses in the last probably 10, 20 years is the use of round pen training. However, I firmly believe that the chasing of horses in a round pen situation can be in fact harmful to the horse. If you take a blood picture of a horse during that round pen situation where he's running, you'll find that he has the same levels of cortisol, prolactin and adrenaline as if he was running from a dog, being chased literally for his life. It's really important that we really limit the amount of flight shown by horses and turn them into calm, obedient animals instead. Horses that rush their fences when jumping, for instance, do not love jumping. They're not dying to get out there and give it a go. They are, in fact, frightened. And we need to stop labelling fear responses as things like goey or exciting and just to think that, in fact, the horse is scared. The flight response in the horse is stored in a part of his brain where it's available for instant recall. He doesn't need to think about what happened last time the tiger came and how he escaped from that. He just needs to know to run. It's also impossible to erase that flight response from the horse's memory, so it's critical that we don't allow expressions of flight response in our training. The best way to limit flight response is to gain control of the horse's legs, and we're going to be talking about this in later episodes. I'm Jodie Hartstone. Thanks for watching Equine TV, and we'll catch you in two weeks' time. Brought to you by Fibre Fresh.